when we first started thinking about the story and how we wanted to explain it to the player, um, a high level, we wanted no time. In doing that and trying it out, one of the things we realized quickly was the fact that we were going to need supporting characters. From that, we came up with the sprites. Sprites are definitely a microcosm of storytelling that relate to the bigger picture of Hoffman. We actually are able to do a lot of interesting things, not only like trying to tell the story or giving navigation for the player, but you know, making this bond between the player and the sprites. A lot of our inspiration for Hop uh, comes from Miyazaki in The Princess Mononoke. His stories tend to be about cultures fighting with each other, maybe not understanding one another. And Hob has a lot of that. Those stories use secondary characters to tell the story more than even the main character in the story. And the sprites were heavily influenced from those films. The, the idea of how they move, what they do, and take care of the world. They are trying to make things better. Our world has a lot of machines in it, and the sprites are actually plants. They are symbiont creatures, they have culture, they sing, they dance, but at the same time, you know, they are in this dangerous world. They are the protectors of the wilderness, and they help the player go through the game. They help in telling that story, they help in giving an emotional response. They have a purpose, just like everything else in our game. We decided the type of game we wanted to make. We were trying to figure out how we can make our version, how we can make it different. So the glove was kind of born of that because the glove serves combat abilities and traversal abilities. That was one of the more interesting, harder things that we had to end up doing. It was definitely an interesting choice, one that we really, really liked. We had the character unique. Because the player doesn't uh, begin the game with this glove, it's something that's acquired through a series of events. It makes it even more special that it's just not one of these things. 
but it has the capability to do all of these things in one feature. The first glove we ever showed was the mag glove. Your glove transforms into this giant tractor beam, basically, and you can zip yourself around. It could be really interesting finding monsters. It was a very easy one to see in my head. And then the second glove we ever showed was the punch. And the punch is you basically get to destroy things. But what you can actually do with it in the world is actually one of the most used glove abilities. And, um, and just not to break walls. War glove allows you, of course, to warp. Um, you can travel through certain monsters. You can travel through certain materials. Um, the warp ended up causing a lot of problems with traversal. <laughs> Uh, but we eventually got those figured out. We're finding uh, people testing the game or using glove abilities in ways we didn't think they were going to use. So we've had to kind of be very reactive between level design and, and gameplay design with the uh, glove abilities. Hob is really about going out and exploring and trying to fix things and a feeling of like you're making things better and by the actions that you're taking and Everything that you do with your character, even your weapon, is really all about that. We've kind of talked about a long time how we wanted to show it and what, and what would be the best way to show it. And how could we make it cool? And how could we, uh, because it's a wordless narrative, how can we show you what is happening so that the player understands? And I think what we came up with was uh, pretty cool.